Question, will hydrogen water change the pH of my body? What's up all my extra minute peeps? Thank you for voting on this month's Q&A poll. I'm excited to answer this question for you. It's actually gonna take a little bit more nuance to answer this question. And I actually thought I was actually gonna be just talking about what H2 concentration, my highest H2 concentration I ever tested. But this one seemed like uh, it came through in the home stretch and won the actual Q&A poll. And so uh, I'm gonna have to tackle this one, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, so to begin, I'm gonna go ahead and answer this question in a few parts because I think it's gonna be important to make sure you guys fully understand the context in which hydrogen might actually influence the pH of our bodies. Firstly, what we can conclude from studies thus far is that hydrogen by and large does not affect blood parameters. And what I mean by blood parameters is things like temperature, things like uh, dissolved carbon dioxide in your blood, um, saturation, blood saturation, uh, the temperature of your blood, things of that nature. Um, but hydrogen can uh, influence um, ser serum biochemical markers, uh, things such as uh, fasting glucose uh, or your glucose in your blood, your uric acid levels in your blood, uh, monocytes or leukocytes in your blood, uh, things like that. We have studies that hydrogen can affect those things, um, but by and large, it does not affect things such as, like I said, O2, um, CO2 um, and temperature or, or pH obviously is the main one uh, and I don't want to miss that one. It seems like it does not affect those things. And, uh, but that does not fully answer the question. So let's go to the next part. All right, so the second part of this question would be, is there any type of scenario in which hydrogen can affect the pH of your body? Uh, and there's been a couple studies done on this and uh, it seems like hydrogen can have an alkalizing effect on the human body in the context of exercise-induced metabolic acidosis. Um, it's been demonstrated in a couple of these studies that hydrogen can increase uh, the pH of uh, the blood during or during or post exercise can increase bicarbonate um, post exercise, uh, which had this alkalizing effect on uh, on healthy men who uh, were uh, were active and uh, and were doing an intensive exercise. And so, um, I think there's a little more context I want to give for that though, uh, because a lot of times we think of increased uh, pH, we always think of a very, very high pH, um, but uh, is very small uh, increments that hydrogen was increasing this uh, pH of our blood and it was never outside of normative status of the pH. I think I need to move into the third part of this question, which would be to help you guys have some context for what is exercise induced acidosis. All right, so exercise acidosis. So when you exercise, uh, your body is eventually going to switch its mode of producing energy. Um, from oxidative phosphorylation or cellular respiration, um, basically using your mitochondria to using glycolysis, uh, which is not using um, your mitochondria. And glycolysis is gonna elevate the levels of lactate and is gonna release more hydrogen ions uh, or acid, uh, is gonna produce more acid, is gonna release that into the blood, decreasing the pH of the blood and also the tissues of the muscles. And so this is also been kind of associated with um, decrease in exercise performance and things of that nature. I mean, obviously everyone's heard of lactic acid and, and those things and the buildup of, of feeling the burn and that type of stuff. So um, just for your mind reference, if you don't understand the words I'm really trying to convey here, but basically they found that when this, um, uh, when this effect is happening, when you consume hydrogen rich water, it can actually help to maintain um, uh, or to basically suppress this exercise acidosis. For the context of this question, um, they did see that hydrogen was able to increase uh, the blood pH. Uh, now, I wanna go ahead and give an example of this uh, because really um, it increased the blood pH um, from basically like 7.4 pH to 7.47 pH. So it's not like it's a astronomical humongous jump that we like to think about when we think of the pH of water. Um, hydrogen did not have that because if it did, then it would have a negative effect on the body. And I'll get more into this in the end of the video because I, we have some videos I want to talk to you about when it comes to the pH of our bodies. Lastly, to wrap the question up, the participants in the study that I'm referencing, uh, they consumed hydrogen rich water at a concentration of about 2.2 milligrams per liter at two liters a day. Uh, for two weeks. And so 
they saw this effect not only 30 minutes after exercise, but it was actually uh, they, the, the effect was greater after two weeks of consuming hydro rich water. Um, but uh, that is a, approximately about four milligrams of hydrogen per day that these people were consuming that actually had this effect. And so this is also part of this context. Um, not everybody can consume four milligrams of hydrogen per day. Uh, but if you can, then this is a possible effect of hydrogen improving, or I should say increasing um, the pH of the blood in the body. All right, so that's my answer to this question. I think it's really important to remember that the context uh, for this effect that we see with hydrogen is with exercise metabolic acidosis. Um, and this is not equivocal with metabolic acidosis that we is, that is associated with different diseases. Now, it doesn't mean that hydrogen doesn't have therapeutic potential for those um, particular diseases that have this end result of metabolic acidosis, but uh, I have to look more through my database to answer that question. So maybe that could be on the poll next time. Uh, and this is not the same as uh, the concept of alkalizing your body. And so we do have some videos that touch on that, that I think is important to watch because your body has uh, mechanisms to regulate the pH of your body, whether it's your blood pH, whether it's your lymphatic system pH, whether it's the pH of your tissues, your body has mechanisms to regulate these pH, uh, these pHs in, in those organs or systems, and they are not easily moved because your life depends on it. So um, this is a good thing that hydrogen does not uh, affect the pH of our blood um, or our normal parameters because it would be a very negative thing. Uh, so I want you guys to go ahead and check out the videos. We actually have videos for these and you, and you can see them um, in the description. We'll be linked in the description and they'll probably pop up here too. Alrighty, so thank you so much for voting on this month's Q&A poll. I really appreciate you guys. We, we, we want to do more of these for you. We're going to continue to do this. Um, and also, uh, we want you guys to support us um, at all of our social media platforms. And if you are uh, a person that Asian Minutes has impacted with this type of information and you want to support us monthly, you can do so at patreon.com slash Minutes. Or if you want to just give a one-time donation, we have our donation link down in the description as well. So we'll catch you guys next time. Deuces.